Okay, so here's the setup that I've got. Um, out of shot is a PC, pretty much bog standard PC. Nothing special there, just a um, bog standard built in sound card uh, with a few different inputs. Um, got the Pioneer CDJ 400s, um, Reloop RMX 33 mixer. Um, amplifier which is also out of out of view but just a standard sort of hi-fi amplifier and a pair of speakers and two screens okay so onto the mixer setup um, you see I've zoomed in here and if you look at the top there the, the, the biggest knob is the master volume output and then you've got a booth output obviously that's going to be different on uh, different mixers it doesn't matter which way around you use them really I've got mine set up so that uh, the master volume is basically how loud it is coming out of the speakers um, and then the booth is um, sending the signal into the PC so that goes from the mixer um, standard red and white cable um, going into a 3.5mm jack and that goes into the line in I haven't tried putting it into the microphone socket I think that still works just as well to be fair if you've only got a microphone socket and not a line in I think you can use that and it should be fine when you're playing a tune um, your mixer shouldn't really go into the red as you can see mine keeps dipping into red slightly so I would turn down the turn down the gain slightly on it there so you want to keep it green ideally maybe a bit of yellow is not too bad um, so you're sending a decent signal from your mixer to start with if you're if you're peaking you know if you've got it up in the red like that that's going to be sending a pretty crappy signal um, so you're probably going to get distortion straight away with that which isn't ideal so keep it somewhere around there um, this is standard across all mixers not just this one right so now that you've got your deck set up and you've plugged the mixer into the PC um, it's time to go onto your Windows desktop and set that up now if you're using a Mac, I can't really help you I'm afraid because I haven't done this kind of stuff um, on a Mac before, I've barely used Macs to be honest. Um, what you need to do is go down to the bottom right hand corner here where you've got your volume controls, right click on it, go to recording devices and you should get this window here pop up. Now as I said um, earlier, ideally you want to have it plugged into line in, um, if you haven't got line in you probably can plug it into the microphone socket like I say this isn't something I've tried before um, but I believe it still works so what you want to do if I just press play on my deck here so as you can see you can see the signal coming into my PC what I'll do is just turn my amp off just so you can actually hear me talking um, so this is this is the first test basically if you see flashing here then you know that you've plugged it in correctly if you're not seeing anything here it could be that you've got effects on your mixer um, you know, like a filter or something that's stopping the signal getting in or you might have just turned the volume down or you haven't pressed play anything like that so check that you've got sound coming out of your mixer um, if you have and it's not showing here then what you can do is if you click on properties and then go to levels as you can see here I've got mine set to 67 not for any real reason but I'll explain that in a minute so basically what you want to do is make sure that that's up obviously if it's right down there that would explain why you're not getting any signal um, so move it up to around 60 or 70 just in the first instance um, and then hopefully you'll see this flashing where it's getting a signal then what you want to do is if you open up OBS you should be greeted with if you haven't used it before that is you should be greeted with this screen so basically you've got a, a blank canvas what we'll do just quickly is to make it a little bit brighter I'll add an image um, just stick that in there make it that big as you can see it's, it's dead easy to add stuff like this which is pretty cool um, and then you want you want to add your audio that's what this video is about really that's just to brighten up the video a bit I thought I'd put my picture in um, so as you can see as standard there are two audio inputs um, already set up so one is mic slash auxiliary um, obviously mine's flashing here because I'm talking desktop audio I have turned all the way down because that's things like 
um, you know if you're watching a video on VLC or you've got production software running or you're watching something on YouTube like this video for instance um, or even you know if you get a notification on Facebook if you've got a browser open um, it will it will come through OBS so obviously if you're streaming something you don't want people hearing all your notifications going off um, or if you're watching something else in the background at the same time so basically I just turn that all the way down um, normally I have the mic all the way down as well because if you've got a microphone and you're you know, you're DJing you don't want the sound from your mixer going as well as the music coming through the microphone because that will just there'll probably be a bit of a delay as well and it will just sound horrendous so normally I would suggest that you turn both of these down um, obviously if you're using a setup where you want to talk to people as well you can you can tweak this but for me when I'm DJing it's just the music I don't tend to talk over it so normally this would be down so as you can see here there's no other audio sources so at the moment OBS won't be hearing the music that I'm playing so what we need to do is you go down to this plus and this plus if you haven't used OBS before this plus adds anything so audio input is what we're looking at here but as you saw earlier I added an image for the background media source you can have it play videos um, from your PC so you know if you've got some trippy visuals or something that you want to play you can add them there uh, video capture device if you haven't got one I suggest you get one because it really adds another element to your show um, people like you know watching you mix as well because if you're just sat there looking at this image it's, it's not that exciting um, but like I say at the moment we're focusing on audio input so click on that doesn't really matter what you call it unless you're going to be stacking up loads of different things and you want to find it quickly um, so you can leave it as audio input capture 3 for the sake of it I'll just I'll just rename it to mixer input okay then you get this um, obviously this bit's grey because that's for things like webcams or media sources you know it will give you a preview of your video so what you want to be looking at here is where it says device default now what you want to do is make sure you don't leave it on default because as you saw earlier down in the volume control if you go to recording devices the default is my microphone and we don't want it to come through the microphone because the quality will be horrendous so what you want to do is actually click in where it says default click in it and as I said line in is what we're looking at on this setup if you have plugged it into the microphone socket then microphone's fine um, but line in is sort of the, the preferred one really so if we click that click on OK if you scroll down here as you can see mixer inputs there um, what I'll do if I just press play on my deck as you can see I've mine's already set up kinda how I like it or how it works best you might not you might not get it to that point exactly at the, at the start you might have it you know bouncing off the uh, limiter up here and that's gonna sound pretty bad to anyone that's tuning in if it's red generally it means that the signals way too loud and you probably get quite a lot of distortion um, on the flip side you might also get it so ignore that I'm dragging this down but if that if that bars all the way up here and your volumes there that's going to be incredibly quiet so anyone that's tuning in is going to have to crank their sound system up to max to hear anything at all um, and obviously the problem with that is if they've done that and they get a notification or they open up a YouTube video or something it's probably going to blow their head off so really what you want is you want the bars to be peaking somewhere around there so what you can do if you drag it if you drag it down from here if you know if it's if it's peaking up here and you drag it down and you end up there that's fine if it's really really quiet and you've dragged this all the way to the top and you know say it's still down there then you need to go back down to your speakers uh, speakers icon here go back to recording devices choose your line in go to properties go to levels and then this is where this one comes into play so if this if the volume was right down here you can boost that all the way up to a hundred um, and then and then it should be in the right place the other thing to check is if you've got that on full and you've got that on full then basically the signal you're sending from your mixer is too quiet so on each channel of your mixer you should have a gain um, so you can tweak that if you bring the gain up a bit uh, what I'll do actually, you can't see me doing it, but if I adjust the gain now, watch down here. So, 
see so I've, I've put the gain right up and as you can see it's gone into the red which is not what we want but it's just to you know just to show you the effect it has so if I bring my gain back down to where it was as you can see that's that's roughly in the right area now you can go slightly into the red it's probably best to keep it in the yellow if you can uh, let's just close this window so drag that down slightly so there you go that that's pretty much the perfect setup I found um, some of the streams I tune into they have it you know they they keep it in the green and what I find is yeah you get a nice clean signal you know good sound quality but you have to turn the volume up quite a bit which is quite annoying because if you forget you've got your volume up like I said earlier you open up a YouTube video or something um, and you know it's three times louder if you've got your headphones on that's not a good experience so what I found basically keep it slightly in the red sometimes but basically around there so somewhere around minus 10 it's really when you get up to sort of this level that things start sounding bad um, so in terms of setting up the sound assuming you've got it like that that's that should sound pretty good okay so you've got this set up now so you've got sound coming in the sounds at the right level you might think that you're good to go now um, but there's a couple more settings you just need to check so if you go down to settings um, now this is this is the important bit so you go to output mine's set to advanced because I use it quite a lot but you'll be greeted if this is your first time you'll be greeted with this so the simple output mode so there's two settings you need to look at video bitrate here and audio bitrate if you have set all of this up and your sounds good but you've got that on 64 it's probably not going to sound that great to be honest anything over 160 sounds pretty good um, video bitrate again the higher the better but you do need to be careful uh, because depending on how good your internet connection is it might not be able to handle it so my internet connection now is fiber optic and I can pretty much run at these settings without any problem before that I had 8 meg download and 1 meg upload uh, which is not very fast at all in terms of upload speed and upload is the important part here because you're uploading, you know, you're sending your signal rather than downloading so the upload speed is the important one so if you do only have 1 meg upload or something similar your video bitrate will need to be turned down considerably I think I have mine on 500 anything above that was kind of stuttery you know, people would get buffers and really it just, you know, as a viewer it wasn't it wasn't good the video and the sound would would stutter or they just stop for a few seconds and start again um, which obviously you don't want if you're streaming you want you want a nice smooth stream that sounds good um, one thing to note if your internet connection can only handle like 500 bit rate on the video the video will be fairly low quality so um, another option of course is to just remove the video completely and then you could set the video bitrate to like a hundred or something but that's I'd say that's like an extreme you know only if your internet connection is really really bad uh, generally if you've got fiber optic you should be able to have these settings and uh, for me that's fine like people often comment and say it looks good and sounds good so um, no problems there really so assuming that's all set up okay that's pretty much it Okay, and then finally, just a sort of quick demo really. So this is a, um, a camera that I've just hooked up quickly. Um, so imagine, you know, if you're watching a stream, it's much more interesting to see. See me actually doing it rather than, you know, just staring at a, an image. So if you haven't got a camera, I strongly recommend you get one. And the one that you're seeing at the moment is an SJ Cam um, SJ4000 quite an old old model now it's basically a copy of a GoPro um, which you can use as a webcam it's fairly wide angle so um, yeah I'd recommend that I think you can get them for about 20 quid so not exactly expensive and it adds a, another layer to your live stream so I would go for that thanks for watching everyone um, hopefully the video has helped you get set up feel free to leave a comment below if you need any further help um, or you know just for any feedback that's always good um, like the video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see some pretty random stuff, it's not all music related. Um, so yeah, cheers for watching.